Alright, now before you dislike this video, I'd like you to hear me out. First of all, yes, racism is bad, but... Well, let me just get into the video. Hello, this is Justice Baxter Man, welcome back to God, Guns, Gaming, and GOP. So right now in America, and throughout our nation's history, we have been riddled with the issue of racism and racial animosity. Currently, racism is pretty dead by and large, although there is a lot of strife over the issue because of never-ending accusations from the left, mainly. Um, so, ordinarily, I wouldn't question whether or not racism is bad, but I was forced to question this when I was confronted with the fact that a lot of black Americans were fans of President Obama for the simple reason that he was the first black president. I didn't want to simply accept the idea that they were all bad people just for this in-group bias or racism. So while racism is objectively wrong, I ultimately came to the conclusion that racism is mostly bad because of slavery. Let me explain. Okay, so first of all, racism is to an extent natural. A uh, man naturally distrusts anyone that is different, and especially so when there is a language or cultural barrier. This should lead to curiosity, not animosity, but human nature is not towards what is right, and so it often leads to the latter instead. Secondly, similar discriminations are not treated as being as evil. For example, I'm a bit of a Texas exp a Texan, ex a Texan supremacist. Um, being Texan ain't a matter of morality, but I tend to look down on people from elsewhere and tease them and whatnot. Now, I don't take it very seriously and it's all for fun, but you get the point. At any rate, I think we all have these things where we have superior superiority complexes over non-moral issues. So the question is, where do you draw the line? Which of these are really wrong, and which are just kind of wrong? Well, I've said before, and I'll say it again, that it's generally alright, to an extent, to have these superiority complexes over characteristics that people can change, but not over the ones they can't. So that obviously means racism is wrong, but how wrong? Well, frankly, it depends on how racist is the racism. Okay, um, is this, are we talking about, oh, I don't think I'd marry someone of a different race, or are we talking about, I'm gonna hunt down and kill every, insert color, person I find? Now, frankly, I try to make a, conscience, a conscious effort to avoid any level of racism, but it's obvious not all racists are equally evil. One thing I've noticed in modern American politics is that people on both sides, but especially the left, tend to treat any racist comment as if it were as if whoever said it were some raging murderous racist. So essentially what I've realized is that racism is bad because of slavery. Now to be clear, racism is bad anyway, but because of the history of race-based slavery in America, people tend to directly connect anything remotely racist to slavery and Jim Crow, at least when it's coming from a white towards a minority group. Now both sides will admit, though not directly, that I'm correct. The left in its endless pursuit against white supremacy, the white supremacy boogeyman, fails to address racism coming from anyone not white because those forms of racism don't have a history of slavery behind them. The right, on the other hand, um, argues that racism more or less died with slavery and Jim Crow. If you ask someone from either side if racism is bad because of slavery, they'd probably say no, but again, they kind of show it to be true. Now to be sure, I am on the right, and I'm not saying that the right is wrong, just that there are some things which could stand to be thought more through more thoroughly. So in conclusion, racism is indeed bad, but is largely overblown because of its historical connection with slavery. Racism is still bad on the individual level, but not every racist is necessarily a terrible person. Also, racism is somewhat natural and will plague humanity forever. But with that all being said, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.